The Olympic Games have returned to Paris after 100 years. 10,500 athletes will aim to go higher, faster and strong at the 33rd Summer Olympics, which is expected to have a viewership of some 3 billion. But just how has athletic ratings been measured over the last 128 years? How do judges take a call on competitions that are decided by the hundredth of a second or fractions of an inch? And how has precision sports timekeeping evolved over the last century? Timekeeping at the modern Olympics has mostly been a Swiss stronghold with brief forays for the Japanese and it was advanced from manual timing to broadcasting of real-time results. The first modern Olympics at Athens in 1896 was timed by manual stopwatches by Longines. Hoyer created the micrograph pocket chronometer to handle timekeeping duties at the 1920 Olympics in Antwerp. The micrograph was the world's first mechanical stopwatch accurate to one hundredth of a second. Omega entered the sea in 1932 when a single representative travelled to Los Angeles with 30 chronometer certified stopwatches to time the 10th Olympics. Since then, it has been the official timekeeper for a majority of Olympic Games. Omega, along with sister swatch group firm Swiss Timing, has deployed 550 timekeepers at Paris 2024. It is using 350 tons of equipment, including 4K cameras and touchpads, as well as a new finish line camera capable of shooting 40,000 images per second to keep track of and time events. Omega's long association with Olympics has resulted in several innovations. The 1948 Olympics in London saw the introduction of the first photo finish camera and the first photoelectric cell, which electronically stopped the clock as the first athlete crossed the finish line. At the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, the first fully electronic games, Omega Scope enabled the display of real time in televised sports, superimposing numbers at the bottom of the screen. Four years later, in Mexico, the company achieved a timekeeping milestone with the development of touchpads that are built into the walls of Olympic swimming pools. The touchpads allow the swimmer's hand to stop the clock, eliminating the need for poolside timekeepers. At Vancouver in 2010, the traditional starting pistol gave way to the electronic start system which comprised of a red flash gun and a sound generation box. The system, which is connected to speakers positioned behind each racer, ensures an equal start for all participants by emitting a light flash, a start pulsed cool timing device, and a sound behind each athlete at the press of the trigger. Athlete starting blocks are equipped with integral speakers and built-in sensors that measure their force against the footrest 4,000 times a second, thus playing a vital role in full start detection. The Olympics also spurred out-of-the-box thinking at Japanese watchmaking giant Seiko, which has been the official timekeeper for, among others, the 1964 Tokyo Olympics and the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. At the Tokyo Olympics, the first to be held in Asia, Seiko built the world's first quartz crystal chronometer, measuring times of up to one one hundredth of a second. The Japanese watchmaker used over 1,200 precision timing instruments that would spur the development and commercialization of COTS, the game-changing technology that would soon take over the world. <music> <music>